When we started working on Transparent the Series, I quickly saw that as a potential musical. It's family drama, it's huge pain, huge comedy. Drop a bomb, shut me down, give me nowhere to run. A Transparent musical is about a family in transition. When one person in a family comes out, often it unleashes a lot of emotion and drama in the rest of the family and sometimes in the rest of the world. And the show attempts to put it all into one rollicking, fun, musical ride that is in many ways about musicals and about being otherized and taking up space. I'm sorry, I don't know what to call you. Not mom. No, that's for your mother. How about Mapa? Ma plus pa? I like it. When I first saw the TV show, I was so excited to see any kind of content at all representing trans lives. That for me was like so huge, so satisfying, both as a trans person and as an artist. And I would never have imagined that we would be retelling that same story now against such a different landscape where trans people have a certain threshold of visibility and also an extreme backlash. Which is why it feels more urgent that we deliver this and celebrate trans joy. For me, for many of us, the feeling of finally being yourself, it's healing enough to get you through it. There's a trans structure to the play. It moves through time in this circular way where you're constantly kind of being thrown off course and you don't really know how to feel. And that I think feels really at home, I think when you're trying to kind of communicate a trans perspective. So let them label us deviants because we deviate. And in our show, it's a conflict between the world of the standing order, how things have always been, and the deviance, the desire to change things, the desire to, to make it new, to make it different, to find space for yourself where there hasn't been space before. And every single character in our show goes through that, and I think it's impossible for the audience not to be going through that, to be asking those questions. And I think that we have all had to constantly ask that question in this process. It's quite a lot of trans and gender non-conforming people both on stage and off, and the overall effect means that none of us have to be like educators teaching about ourselves or representing the whole community. We can all just be, and we can all be artists, and we can all be free to create. And trans people really don't get that feeling of being safe, being safe in public. I feel like we have to create our own worlds where we surround ourselves in places where we can center ourselves. And so even one play where trans people, queer people, Jewish people, otherized people can just be in the driver's seat of the protagonism, it's celebration.